Welcome to our channel, where we dive deep into the world of C-sharp development. In this video, we'll take you through a simulated interview process, exploring core concepts and best practices every C-sharp developer should know. This is a sample interview, designed to mimic a real-life scenario. So, get ready to face an interview like this one. You can find more interview questions and answers in the video description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to access more interview videos like this one, helping you master the world of development jobs. Let's start this interview. Hello. Thank you for coming in today. Can you please introduce yourself? Hello. Thank you for having me. My name is Smith, and I have been working as a C-Sharp developer for the past five years. I have experience in building web applications, APIs, and desktop applications using C-Sharp and .NET Framework. Great to have you here. Let's start with some basic questions. What is C-Sharp and what are its main features? C-Sharp is a programming language developed by Microsoft as part of the .NET Framework. It is designed for building a wide range of applications from web to desktop to mobile. Some of its main features include strong typing, object-oriented programming support, automatic memory management through garbage collection, and extensive standard libraries. Can you explain the difference between value types and reference types in c -sharp? Sure. Value types store their actual value in memory, while reference types store a reference to the memory location where the actual value is stored. Examples of value types are int, float, and enum, while examples of reference types are classes, interfaces, and arrays. How do you handle exceptions in c -sharp? In c -sharp, exceptions are handled using try-catch blocks. Code that may throw an exception is placed inside a try block, and any exceptions that occur are caught and handled in one or more catch blocks. Additionally, you can use a finally block to ensure that certain code is always executed, regardless of whether an exception occurs or not. What are the differences between the ref and out keywords in c -sharp? The ref keyword is used to pass arguments by reference, meaning that any changes made to the parameter inside the method will also affect the original variable outside the method. On the other hand, the out keyword is used to return multiple values from a method. The method must assign a value to the out parameter before it returns, whereas with ref, the parameter must be initialized before being passed to the method. How do you implement inheritance in c -sharp? Inheritance in c -sharp is implemented using the class keyword followed by a colon and the name of the base class. Derived classes inherit members such as fields, properties, methods, and events from the base class. Additionally, c -sharp supports single inheritance, meaning that a class can inherit from only one base class, that it allows for multiple interface implementations. Can you explain what a delegate is and how it is used in c -sharp? A delegate in c -sharp is a type that represents references to methods with a specific signature. It allows methods to be passed as parameters to other methods, stored in variables and invoked dynamically. Delegates are often used to implement event handling and callback mechanisms in c -sharp. How do you manage memory in c -sharp? In c -sharp, memory management is handled automatically by the garbage collector. The garbage collector periodically scans the managed heap for objects that are no longer being used and frees up their memory. Developers can also manually release unmanaged resources using the I disposable interface and the using statement. What is the difference between I enumerable and I queryable in C Sharp? I enumerable represents a forward only cursor of a collection, meaning that it can only be iterated over once. It is suitable for in-memory collections like arrays and lists. Equaryable, on the other hand, represents a query that can be executed against a data source, such as a database. It allows for deferred execution and is typically used with li and q to s cool or entity framework for database queries. Can you explain the concept of boxing and unboxing in c -sharp? Boxing is the process of converting a value type to a reference type while unboxing is the process of converting a reference type back to a value type. 
Boxing occurs when a value type is assigned to a variable of type object, whereas unboxing occurs when a value of type object is cast back to its original value type. Can you explain the difference between abstract classes and interfaces in C Sharp? Certainly. Abstract classes can contain both abstract and non abstract members, while interfaces can only contain method signatures. Additionally, a class can inherit from only one abstract class, but can implement multiple interfaces. How do you implement polymorphism in C Sharp? Polymorphism in C Sharp is implemented through method overriding and method overloading. Method overriding allows a derived class to provide a specific implementation of a method that is already defined in its base class, while method overloading allows a class to define multiple methods with the same name but different parameter lists. What is the purpose of the using statement in C Sharp? The using statement in C Sharp is used to ensure that an I disposable object is properly disposed of when it is no longer needed. It automatically calls the disposed method of the object, even if an exception occurs within the using block. How do you implement threading in C Sharp? Threading in C Sharp can be implemented using the thread class or the task parallel library TPL. The thread class allows you to create and manage threads explicitly, while the TPL provides a higher level abstraction for working with tasks and parallelism. Can you explain the concept of asynchronous programming in C Sharp? Asynchronous programming in C-sharp allows you to perform non-blocking operations, which can improve the responsiveness and scalability of your applications. It is typically achieved using the async and await keywords, along with tasks and asynchronous methods. Finally, what are some best practices for writing clean and maintainable C-sharp code? Some best practices for writing clean and maintainable C-sharp code include following naming conventions, using meaningful variable and method names, writing modular and reusable code, properly documenting code with comments, and regularly refactoring code to improve its readability and maintainability. Thank you for your detailed answers. Do you have any questions for me before we conclude? Yes, I'm curious about the technologies and projects your team is currently working on. That's a great question. We're currently focusing on, mention specific projects or technologies. Thank you for asking. Thank you for the information. I look forward to potentially working with your team. Likewise. We'll be in touch soon. Thank you for coming in today.